going on? I cannot believe it. We are here for season 40 several on the reality after show. And I will just say, I feel like I played a game of Survivor just in order to record this damn podcast tonight. Just We're in 4K. Really We're broadcasting, Matt. <laughs> We're in 4K, brother. Yeah, dude. Well, it's so funny because, you know, uh, we podcast, as you all know, uh, leading up to 40 several. We've had Jelinski on. We've had Kelly Wentworth on. And we had Gabler. And we had such a great time just like, uh, hearing their perspective and uh, players, you know, Gabler and, and Jelinski, I wasn't so sure of. But I tell you what, Johnny, after doing that pregame coverage, I am a fan of both of those players. And uh, I'm just so excited to be with you guys talking the premiere. Now, Johnny, Wayne, I know, Wayne, you originally were going to come to my house to watch it. I'm out here on my patio, which is like a tribal council in itself. Johnny, you were originally going to be at a party, correct? Yeah, no, I I, uh, I needed to be here. This uh, we, we we got the call that we were going 4K, and so we had to shift some things, and we're here. Don't worry, we have several uh, Survivor parties planned for this season. Check out uh, SurvivorTix.com. They're going to be updated very soon. Uh, we have uh, Cincinnati coming up, Myrtle Beach, uh, Charlottesville, and more. So, uh, yeah, just check out uh, SurvivorTix.com. Uh, just a, just a few uh, just a few parties this year because uh, I was going to do several parties, but several's been reserved for this season. Yes, and I will say this, you guys, from the new era as a podcast, uh, you know, host, co-host, whatever you want to call it, it's a different perspective when you're talking about the game from a podcast perspective, right? Versus just watching it casually with your wife or your husband, your significant other, what have you. And there's been some seasons that have been subpar where I've been like, ah. And we've talked about a lot of weak players that they've been casting, a lot of game bot nerds. But I tell you what, my first impression, I want to get your guys' first impression, I dug the entire episode. I did not feel like it was two hours. Like, I wasn't, like, looking at my phone like, damn. I was looking at my phone saying, if this dude stays in the game, I'm not podcasting, which, which, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm here, but I, dude, I, I really enjoyed tonight's episode. Now I'm a little bit rusty on the players because they they focused a lot on you know several, um, and some people got like zero airtime. But overall, great episode. What's your initial thoughts? Fair play. Uh, I liked it. <laughs> I uh, I like uh, I like the personalities that were shown. Yes, I uh, I do feel that we're fifty percent game bots, but I, I feel that we're fifty percent uh, personalities that may or may not work out for the game. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you know, uh, as as you know, Liz was told, you know, it's just like you got to watch and you have to learn this stuff. So, uh, so you know, we'll see. Who who's to say? I mean, you know, things things change on on the on the drop of a dime, and. Uh, like, I mean, I, I felt like Rome was in trouble early. I, I thought we were looking at a, 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 a Rome first boot. I thought Wayne cursed him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, they, they, you know, uh, Rome could maybe readjust. I, I, he's, he's got his back against the wall, I'll tell you. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the, the, I think that was a pretty brutal edit of Andy. I mean, like, uh, we'll we'll get there. Uh, I mean, they literally use like American Psycho music for this guy, <laughs> and I was just yeah. like, I'm for it because I I think the guy is a little off, and it's and and I didn't I didn't feel they gave us the oh well he's a little off so that's lovable. I didn't I didn't get that. I thought it was just like hey hey everybody signal this guy's a little off and i'm like all right let's have a guy that's a little off <laughs> well i mean here's the thing my first impression with with that whole andy thing we saw some things tonight which we'll get into that we've never seen on survivor in this fashion of how he was acting uh i feel if you're like if you're not confident dude in yourself and life and a go-getter i don't think you should be playing survivor i don't yeah. want to see the guy that can't climb a ladder 
<laughs> if, you have, if you have mental health issues of any kind, I don't think Survivor is the game for you because it is mentally and physically taxing. As you can see, it's a hard game. And I feel bad for people like Andy who are having a breakdown on television and he's looking insecure and weird like he's describing his peers would talk about him in high school. So I feel this is going to do no good. I don't know if we're going to have a redemption story of this insecure kid that, that has a, a, you know. Based on the music, I, I don't think you walk back. That that music was not friendly. Wayne, Wayne, where are you at? On, where are you at on, on the, the let's, let's start broad strokes. Where are you at on the premiere? Oh, well, I dug the premiere. Uh, constant complaint. I'll always say it until they change it. But three tribes of six people, the numbers are way too easy and predictable. I really hope in the next two seasons before 50, maybe they go a different way with numbers, add more people. You know, even if you just add one more person per tribe, it makes the numbers a little bit more interesting when it comes to voting. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, so they're, they're a little more malleable. I mean, like we were talking before we went on the air, Wayne. I mean, like it's give, give, give everybody the, the, the obvious breakdown that, that I, I feel, I don't even know if the game bots I mean, know this. Andy, so, so break, break, break down the numbers. A- Andy broke it down one way when he was talking about his numbers. How he's like, he has to have two people because you need four people to vote you out. And if he's got two, then he, whatever. Like, that kind of makes sense. He's good, yeah. But really, if you go out there, immediately they broke it down. R4. We're the four. Doesn't matter. We just have to stick together, knock out the other two, and then we merge together. Then... If it's you four, you're probably merging at 10. So that means there's four and two, three and three. Hope You hope it's three and three because then you can just run over the votes until the final four. And at the final four, you know, you, want, you hate one of them, you knock them out, whatever. But um, it makes it too easy to just take a solid four, especially with the types of people they're casting, like, you could find a solid four and just railroad your way all the way through. Yeah. Like Wayne, you were saying earlier, like, like you, you pick four and no matter who those four are based on those four, it's just like, okay, we get rid of one of those two, either because they're old or they're weak. Right. Oh and that's yeah. It. We're done. Yeah. yeah. The, the math, the math is done. It's mapping. either they're strong, mm-hmm. they're old or they're weak. And it's the two people that are yeah. the oldest, the strongest or the weak or, or the craziest. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that, that's what it's always oldest, strongest, craziest. Um, but you just get the four and you knock those other two out. And it's, yeah. And, uh, and, and you, the four, because those two can't come and take one from the fl- four and flip the votes. Right. So it's yeah. John and Andy. So we're trying just, to flip all, two people. Done. Exactly. And so it's done. But if you have seven, <laughs> you could have three, two, two, you, you know, like the, the, the first, vote is a little bit more malleable and a little bit more interesting. Um, so if they want three tribes, just up it to seven and it makes it way more interesting. Yeah. There's more, more malleability with, with potential, uh, potential alliances. Right. Yeah. The three tribe format in general, I'm with you, Wayne, like I can't stand it because like I said, I learned a lot about some people and I learned nothing about a lot of but, people. But 21 then, people, I I think the three tribe format could work. Right. But I, I, I do, do I need 21 people? But I, I yeah, will say I that they did a good job of like at least giving us something from every tribe. I felt like we got to be yes. a little bit with every tribe, and, and it would you know yeah. some of it, we didn't learn about every tribe, but we but we got every now. Tribe. I, I you know I'd be curious to see when these advantages were found in relation to the rest of the episode because I have a. I just have a hunch the way that they were cut that like some of these advantages things were done, you know, later on and then edited in to keep people interested, you know, like take one of the more interesting early round things or whatever. So, um, yeah, I I hear you. Like, and I also find, you know, tonight just as a broad thing before we get into the beginning of the show, uh, I like that there was no sweater savvy. Yeah. I did not mind what they did instead of nope. sweat or savvy. Um, it was something new. Um, you know, challenge wise, I know we always kind of laugh. It's like we, we like 
over something, under something, and a, and a puzzle kind of gets old. But I will say that the um, the way that the show started out, and let, let's just get right into it. We have the boats coming in. They're 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 marooning. We have a, a blue, a yellow, and a red tribe is what before they give the names. They're all coming in by boat to the beach, and uh, when they get there, Jeff Probst immediately starts doing this uh, speech about like. Survivor is about creating a community, and it goes on this, uh, you know, big speech about, you know, we're building a community, but we're also playing a game for a million dollars where you have to vote people out. And that is what's so difficult about the game uh, of Survivor. Um, but, yeah, right off the bat, uh, we have a lot of enthusiasm with the tribes. Um, you know, Gabe, the, the long-haired guy, uh, talks about being a hard worker. Um, you know, we, we have a, a lot of uh, big characters right off the bat. As Johnny and I, uh, when we were, we did a um, uh, pregame coverage and Teeny was in the chat um, and Johnny had um, said he met Teeny at one of his viewing parties prior to her going on Survivor. Uh, I'm already digging um, Teeny and her yep. style, her vibe. I, I, I think she's rad. Um, and she wants to make, you know, Jersey proud. So... Uh, people from Jersey, I just had a friend of mine, Mark Abatista from the amazing race who was on our Patreon yeah. podcast. He, uh, he's from Jersey, uh, people from Jersey, uh, they're, they're hit or miss. They could either go down in flames or go really far. So, um, I'm excited to kind of see, uh, how teeny does in this. And then we kind of learn from the get go, uh, Andy telling his sob story right off the bat when they're. The first thing of how he was bullied and he, you know, sometimes feels like an outsider. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. immediately when I heard that, I was like, then why were you cast? Why are you on television? Yeah. Hey, Survivor, right. you're making right. a television show. This is not what people want to yes. watch. They don't want to be reminded no. of the times when they were in high school and they also felt like they were an outsider. And then here you are in a new situation mm -hmm. where you feel like an outsider. Like, that's not what we want to watch. Uh -huh. Get this guy out of here and put someone else that's a little great. <laughs> Give me another Carolyn instead of this guy. Now, yeah. I don't think we have a Carolyn. I don't think we have, like, we got some characters, but I don't think we have, like, a Jam Jam. You know, I... The, I no, we, we, I don't <laughs> think so either. I will say, uh, we, 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 I feel that John loved it immediately when I first started hearing him speak. And and throughout his confessionals this episode, I think he would have been pl a player that he reminded me of Ricard. Ricard. Yeah that kind of the attitude. I was like, man, this guy's like Ricard. And I thought he was very bright. I thought we could get some great content from this guy. Dude, he's um, awesome. I was very, I'm, I've been a big fan of John Lovett for a long time. So I was very excited to like hear him and see him on the show. And we got a little bit of yeah. it, but it's like, he would be such a great fucking narrator. Like such, it's, yes. it is such a bummer that like, I know that this is a game, so production can never do anything, but it's such a bummer that he was put on this tribe. It is just such a bummer I know. that he was, but I mean, well, I, I, yeah. I said on the pregame assessment, I felt that the yellow tribe was the weakest tribe and then they go out and win the first, the first challenge. And I'm just like, okay, am I an idiot? No. Do I not understand survivor? And then fast forward to the first actual challenge. And then there we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's the luck of the draw. I mean, you sign up to play Survivor. I mean, it just goes to show that no matter how smart you are, how much preparation you do, I mean, he obviously knows the game inside and out. He's got to be devastated yeah. of the outcome of well, uh, He said it. I mean, like, he was just like, dude, like everyone is, he goes, all my friends, bring it. I know yeah. you're just going to just well, attack me. And his <laughs> podcast is like a top it's a top podcast in podcasting yeah it's like a big deal pod save america is a big fucking deal and he's got his own show called love it or leave it that i've had a bunch of friends on like he's very cool and i'm bummed that he's not on here because i don't think anybody else is going to give us what he could have given us through this season yeah I, I think hands down john love would have had like the if he lasted deep into the game he would have the highest confessional count He'd be like a Cochran. Yeah. It would just be like off the chart. So John Lovett, if you're listening, we're we're not stoked at all. 
uh, <laughs> the way things went down. As a matter of fact, I'm pissed. I'm pissed because <laughs> I, I wish uh, I wish you know Andy would have been the one going. Yeah. But uh, so here's the thing that's cool. We we have Jeff Probst walk them down the beach and walk right in offshore into the jungle where there's a challenge set up. And I actually like this. That was another kind of different I'm to- kind of I'm thing. I'm totally the opposite. I'm totally the opposite. I don't want to know. Really? I don't want to know how the fucking trick is done. Don't show me these cool mm. drone shots of you walking through what looks like a summer camp to the next challenge. I want the imagery of you like walking out of the bush. I don't want to know that there's a perfectly carved path that takes you from your camp to this thing. <laughs> like, I want to see you walk out. He's like, come on in guys, you know, or like, or come on in everybody or whatever he says now, like folks are, you know, like that's, that's what I want. And I, I don't like it. It's what the whole, the whole Wayne, Wayne doesn't want to see the sausage no, being made. That, that's yeah. kind of like right. my biggest complaint. I'll just get it out of the way now of this episode is that it felt way overproduced way like like they get their their beams for their beds and it's like that type of bamboo isn't even where they are at like you don't see it anywhere and they don't well, they had that bamboo i know for a but while. They, it's just yeah. like it, it they didn't even like pretend to show anybody cutting anything you know what i'm saying like it was just like here you go here's your lego camp assembly and all that stuff and it's just it's it's Further, I know it's a new era, but it's way further away from what it was, even in era two, where it was like there was an element of actual survival in the game. And like that part of it is not really a part of this game. It's starvation and lasting the longest. So we're at the island intros and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, We have Andy. He has four friends and... uh, I'd like to say that I earned my Grateful Dead shirt. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I literally had this on before the episode, and uh, it, it stung, uh, you know, to have a uh, poser running around with the Grateful Dead shirt. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I hear you. This I is mean, not a kind edit to, to Andy. As I said, we literally get American Psycho music yeah. later. <laughs> We do, and we even get a you know a comment about scenes next time. Uh, this guy reminds me of a psycho ex boyfriend or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, so we it is not a, only apparent to us, the viewer, that Andy is like kind of off. Everyone on the island knows it, and there's no possible way I could work with someone like that. No. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no possible way. I would have gotten him out. They cheered for John and the. And then I, I, they don't like me. They indeed did not like no. you, Andy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on. Yeah, but John, John, was, John was thankful that, that uh, or actually resentful that Andy had four friends in high school. He didn't have that many. And, <laughs> and I, 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 John, I can relate. I don't have four friends right now. this 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 i get this this, john we're good andy i i feel your approach is a little odd Uh, i so so i mean do you guys need american psycho for me saying that i have less than four friends Uh, okay like uh yeah if i'm if i would okay okay andy andy okay i know it's the game i'm not it's in your head so andy you haven't even gone back to camp to strategize, no. much less get to tribal where all kinds of things happen. No. And it sounds like you're conceding <laughs> defeat. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Andy, rela- don't quit no, no, yet. No, 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 don't no, quit no, no, no. yet. You can quit later. <laughs> Do not admit defeat yet. I know. Yes, Andy, what? All right, so. I think everyone is in agreement. I, I have not checked the, uh, the the Twitter sphere or exosphere or whatever it's called at this point. Uh, is it called the exosphere? It, I have no knows. idea. If not, not, I feel there. like I just named it. I'm not a, I'm not okay. a part of that world. Uh, is, is Andy the new Banu? I was just going to say it. I mean, kind of worse because he's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think Banu is, 
Banu to me was more likable than this yeah. guy. Well, I, well, no, he was not, and shame on you for saying that. But I felt like the edit was. Yeah. <laughs> I felt the message that they were trying to convey to us, the viewer, was yes, but no. I I, I feel they're they're both equally as palatable. I just uh, I actually like Andy more because he's just such a a, a, a wild card. I know. Like, like I, I mean, not and not not in any good way. Like, here's the deal. Andy should not be. But again, <laughs> no. It, when you have six votes that immediately cut down to five, a wild card doesn't really matter. He's just a shield, and they hope that they win one of those immunity challenges, so they only have to vote one yeah, more so you person. Have your four. Out. That, that's that's all. They're they're rolling the bets that they can win at least one and not have to vote yeah. out two more people just vote out one and it's going to be Andy and that's it. And you know, whatever the right. real liability is taking him to merge. I mean, that's, I mean, you almost want to lose to have the chance to get him out. Oh yeah. You, you lo- like, as soon as you feel the merge is coming, you lose right, that last right. one. Yeah. So yeah. Cut, cut bait. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no possible way is anyone working yeah. with him. I mean, yeah. Where, where, whereas John Lovett could, he, he could gain some traction. If he's still there. Yeah. <laughs> My best friend out here is John. And as they were finishing the puzzle, I was thinking I was going to throw him under the bus to try to stay. Why? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I, uh, well, he's a strat. He's a self-professed strategist. Oh, strategist. He literally his pitch to be saved was, uh, "Hey guys, I'm a I'm a strategist, so uh, just be forewarned." And they're just like, "Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the strategist. That's not like you. I'd almost, I'd almost <laughs> take the guy that can't climb a ladder over this guy, like." <laughs> <laughs> Wow, those are the meanest words you've ever said to me on this well, podcast. Because at least and Brandon, him, Brandon, I love you, and so do say, we. Because at least Brandon, it was like a a survivor community heartwarming story. Like you wanted to root for the kid. Like we all know who he is. You know, I, you know. We, I I I I like the, I like the weirdos American Psycho edit better. <sighs> like I think I hated Brandon because they 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 told me I'm supposed to like him. Like, I hated him because he couldn't climb a ladder. And they're like, oh, no, 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 you're not allowed to hate him. And I'm like, why can't oh, I hate him? Hate him because, yeah. Where, where's this guy? They're just like, yeah, this guy sucks. You can hate him. And I'm just like, wow, you want but me to hate like him? It's like they're trying to force <laughs> on this, like, they need a villain because none of these people are going to be a villain. That's the one thing, like, you can immediately pick out. Well, this is the meanest villain edit I've ever seen it, right. in my entire life. It, yeah. This, you know what? 40, thank you, 40 several. This is old school survivor because there, there's some Matt, Matt and I have, and, and Wayne, you too, have met some very kind villains over the years. So you're just like, holy shit. Like, I thought you would, you know, pee in the corner of my house or kick my no, dog. And you're, you're the nice one. Whereas, yeah. you know, this America's favorite, you know, is an asshole. <laughs> I'm not speaking for that, the America's favorite, just America's favorites in right, general. Right. I, was, I, I, want, I wanted to specify that. I mean, the America's favorite's an asshole, too, and also wears tie-dyed shirts. But I love that. I love that American favorite asshole. <laughs> I, 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 I love T- I like TK in our pre, pre-game assessment. I love TK yeah. right now, but... He may have broed out a little too much. He's just a dude. He's a, he's just a likable yep. dude. I didn't I didn't I didn't get like like you know like because they they, they kind of force you to give that you know that 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 heart wrenching story in your bios and and he, and he has and he has an amazing story and and and, and uh, we love you for that. Uh, however, uh, you know I I I just want to watch Survivor. I don't need the story and all that. So you know I'm just like ah. Oh. And his sto- his story could turn into that story, but all we saw was just a dude broing out. I'm just like, dude, when's the last time we saw a fucking bromance on Survivor? It's been forever. Yeah. Have we gotten a bromance in the new era? I mean, like, I love Jesse, but like, I don't think Jesse and Cody was a bromance. No. I don't think Owen and anyone is a bromance. No. I agree. So, I mean, I love Owen. I mean, I just like they're just not bros. They're you know they're. They're like cool gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, like, dude, like, these are three bros talking well, right now. And it's be- yeah. 
It's because well, two and a, two and a, two and a half. It's because what <laughs> happens is immediately people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Three strong dudes want to make an alliance. No, 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 no. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Not on That's my watch. That's exactly what happens. That's why nobody does it. <laughs> Someone get me a manager. Well, and and <laughs> you know why we haven't seen it, Johnny? They're not casting bros. They're not. They're no. I mean, not that. And no, I'm not I mean, saying Jessica they goes, should. She, she, I'm not she, saying. Jessica goes. She goes. Where? Where's the hot guys? Where's the big yeah. guys? Where's the muscle guys? Where's the tattoo One per guys? Tribe. Maybe and I was one like, per tribe. We got a chick that won Miss Montana or something, and Rome talks about video yeah. games. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, but dude, but dude, Saul is a monster. Yeah, secret monster. Saul is a monster. TK is a monster, and then uh, the uh, the the big the white boy, Tennessee uh, sports yeah. guy. He, he Sam. Sam, but he's not. He's not. I mean. Like, I hope Sam's got a girlfriend now because I mean, uh, I don't think he's getting one from this. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I mean, some people gain weight for Survivor. I get it. That's one philosophy. Another philosophy is just to train yourself to to better adjust to smaller, uh, better adjust to smaller meals. It's just a it's just a different philosophy. So sweater savvy. Here we are, guys. Uh, whoo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll say what I don't like. I don't like that there's no advantages out there right now. Um, I don't like that it's just like very straightforward. One of you gets this, one of you don't. So one of you has to go back and immediately be a threat and all that jazz. Um, I think Aisha loses some credibility because she wanted to go out there and then she comes back with nothing like, if your tribe loses, you're probably going home first. I don't know this. This the, the challenge itself annoyed the shit out of me because again, it's like felt like way overproduced. I, I don't know. I don't want to come too far down on it, but it's like you know, take you over the. They're just running around. It's like a summer camp activity. It's kind of what it felt like more than like a survivor challenge. Right, well, let's, talk, let's talk about the end of it. Asia makes the move to take to uh, to 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 sneak away the key from TK. That's the same shit that the two bullies did uh, to that girl. Uh, yeah, that's the same move. And, and that, that, every, that, that, that I thought was a, a shitbag move. So we're okay with Asia doing Hell it? Oh yeah, all's fair in love and survivor. I'm, a, I'm okay with them doing it. I don't give a shit. All's fair in love and survivor. I, I'll allow it. I guess, I guess it's if Asia was there and TK did that, I think we'd have be having a big discussion right now. So w why can't we have the discussion now that, that Asia attempted to do that? Well, we don't know. He might've gotten pissed. They might've cut it off. He'd been like, what the fuck was that? I just said, I, as soon as I saw it, I just had Sarge Jason vibes, and 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 I have been programmed to not like that. And I'm just like, okay, well, you know, we're 2024. I mean, we're we're all beyond equal. I love everyone, and, and I feel everyone is is the same. So so if this if if if, if I have if I'm having PTSD from Sarge Jason and the, and the basketball guy, who I like the bla the basketball guy, the other guy not so much. Uh, but, uh, you know, if, if I didn't like that, should I not like this Asia move? You, you're, just, you're just in the moment. You're doing what you do in the moment. Even though with, with two much larger men, the optics is not good. Whereas you have a stud in TK in Asia, a smaller <laughs> female making that move. It's just like, oh, we'll allow it. So. So we're allowing both, but it, but it's but it's, but it's very bad optics on 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 the uh, the other. I can live with that, Wayne. Are are you okay with that with 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 that breakdown? I mean, yeah, it's fine. I don't care. Take it either way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like that's the way it is. Like I, you know, if they didn't want him to anyone to try and take the key from somebody else, then the producers would have said, "No, you can't do that." So. Yeah, I mean, what were you okay with the Sarge Jason and the basketball player and and uh, was it Julia or, or whatever? 
It was like three on one. That's a little different. Well, it was like four on one. Yeah. They're they're both big big human. Well, especially the the basketball guy, Scott Scott Pollard, by the yeah. way, an amazing guy. Oh my God! If you guys ever listen, there's a podcast about the cheating ref, the whistleblower. That that's one of the, one of the greatest I mean, podcasts I've ever heard. I'm, Scott Pollard's a big part. I'm of that. okay with going through bags. I'm okay with any like do anything. It's, See, I used to be anti going through bags, but now I'm okay with going through everything. bags. I. I I have to adapt, right? If they didn't want you to do it, they'd make a rule against it. But yeah, Johnny, which wait. former survivor do you think gave Gabe the advice to pair up with the old person on his tribe? I mean, I mean again, uh, this is like a game bot move. This is something where he comes in and he's like, I'm not altering from this plan. I am going to... Oh, he's doing the, he's doing the Malcolm plan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he, he's playing the Malcolm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. This, yes. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is the Malcolm and Denise planning because this hasn't been used in however many exactly. seasons. Let's do the Malcolm and Denise. Exactly. Does Does that mean uh, Does that mean Gabe's going to get fat one day? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Hey, Gabe. Remember this podcast where I told you you were going to get fat, just like Malcolm. <laughs> It's a good, it's a, Sue's in a good spot. I, 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 uh, I'm glad that the current version of Survivor can accept because we, we saw, we saw a similar dynamic with Mama J on 45. So, like, like, you know, we're, we're seeing a, we, we've been seeing a younger version of Survivor, but they, but they've been sprinkling in some, some, uh, some of the older yeah, demos. Even, and, even uh, their older demo. I think they can sprinkle in a little more. I was say their, their older demo is like hot. But again, their older demo is like just the sacrificial first boot. Generally, I mean, probably I'll bet if you pulled up the statistics, potentially. But 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 I think Sue's in a good spot. I think Sue is right now. But yeah, I, but I would. I bet yeah, if I, I think up, if, if Sue had been on the Yellow Tribe, yeah. if Sue had been on the Yellow Tribe in, in, in place of either Andy or John. It's between Sue or Andy or Sue or John. Well, but, yeah, but Sue wouldn't have been in play either. On right. that yeah. tribe. Yeah. So whereas I, I think I think Sue has adapted well. Uh, Gabe is playing a lot. Well, Sue got but, lucky uh, that good... Gabe comes in with a freaking geriatric fetish for his number two. And, you know, like, he, he just <laughs> – John, I mean, it would have been well, – I, I, John – if John had been on the blue tribe, Gabe and John would have been, you know, if John would have been the old guy, John would have been safe and it would have been Gabe and John. Well, I, I don't, I don't know if John is in Gabe's uh, ex hamster. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Gabe. <laughs> I'm curious what that last clue is. Cause I'm guessing that last clue is a fuck you. Uh -huh. I'm guessing the, the 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 other idol is on the other tribe. Yeah, something something crazy, it, and you're you're fucked. Or or it's it, it's at it's 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 at the challenge, and it's at a bad place. Like it's not at a it's not at a you know a Kelly Wentworth spot. It's 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 at a right, and you, you get know, like one shot. Darn spot. You get one shot at it, or else you lose your vote for the next tribal council or whatever. Yeah. So would you go? Would you go for that final five one, Wayne, or or would you be happy with three? No, on, <clears throat> honestly, I think you go one uh, because everyone's you just call a damn one. No, but everyone's so damn suspicious out there over everything, whether it is something or not. Once he got through that, once he got through the box dilemma, I think he was pretty okay. So I, I, I think I would have doubled down for the for the three, but I think I would have called it a three. Yeah, no, I, I think I probably go one. Just hope to find the next idol after that. Just one and yeah. be one and be done. I probably just go one because he's already building himself a nice little buffer on the votes, and you don't want to draw too much attention. Like you just want to have yeah. that one. And hope that that gets you to yeah. merge. You hope your tribe is good enough and strong enough that you might go to one tribal council and and you're just going to play it. And if you don't think it's you at all, then you try and play it to move the vote your way to take out the person you want. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the the five, you you make your move to get that five and, and you get it, you get busted. And you never use it. You're burning it on the one anyway. Right, right. 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 And it, it, I, I, I say th I say three 
you lick your wounds. Like, like if if you if you skated through getting three sus- suspicion free as as much as you can, lick your wounds, walk away, take the three. Right, yeah, right. But and then all of this stuff happens on like four paths that they're on. You know, like they. Yeah. You know, so well, well, wait, Wayne. Here's what you here's what you don't know, Wayne. Most people don't leave the shelter. Oh, I know. Literally. 80% of the people never leave the fucking shelter. So but 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 they do the first 2 to 3 days more so than they do for the for the the remaining 20 whatever days or 30 whatever days. So that is true. But day 4 no one's getting water, no one's getting wood. Like there there's two people that are doing the job for the entire tribe. Wayne, did you do everything you could to fuck Rome on the first episode, or what? Dude, Rome's fucking himself, man. I, I don't know what this man's doing. <laughs> I don't know who prepped this man, but this man is not ready. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do I pick out the Jelinski every single season? <laughs> I mean, you Jelinski the fuck out of this guy. Ugh. He was a mess. He was he was the he was one of the biggest first season messes I've ever seen in the history of Survivor. Yeah. I mean, if, if, Wayne, is there a bigger mess you've seen? I mean, Jelinski is 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 the, is the only comparable bigger first episode mess. Zane Knight. I mean, I think Carolyn's first episode. Everyone thought she was a mess. Oh yeah. You know, I think. That, that's that's up there. Wait, wait, hey, well, you know what, Rome? If you got you got Carolyn Company, but you also have Zane Knight Company, yeah, which is either good or bad. However, you want to look at it. I I, I want I want a good shelter, a good a good shelter. Like like the our 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 the best item we had on Pearl Islands was our tarp, and the first item we stole when we got to you know steal from the other tribe, uh, we stole their tarp. Because we knew that would be most damaging to them and most beneficial to us. So I don't know if there was a tarp included in, in that in that uh, uh, that kit. Uh, could have been. Okay, but 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 regardless, making your shelter the best possible shelter is the best possible thing you can do. My first season, we uh, we made our shelter in the woods, and we got destroyed by every mosquito. So then we made our shelter again on the shore. And it was good, but we needed to bring it off the ground for the nose, uh, the sand fleas. And uh, that's, you know, the, that's the big fight you see with me and Sean. I'm just I'm like, dude, we have an off day. We're like, we're not going to have another off day for a while. Like, and he was just like, I know I don't want to. And I'm just like, dude, we're being destroyed by sand fleas. Like, that, that's what you don't see. It's just like, it was like, like, dude, like we're sleeping miserable. We will sleep great. All we have to do is just raise this up, you know, like, like. We're here. We got nothing to do today. Let's do it. And, you know, and I said, you know, you work hard to, to, to not work than you do to work. And yeah, come da- like we're right now we're in the honeymoon phase of, of season 40 several. We ended on night three. That shit's over. Day four. No one wants to build a new fucking shelter. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we we we. we we used to have to uh, to row in to, uh, row into the challenges, you know, like and, and uh, we'd row in and, and like it, like Jeff was like, "Are you all idiots? Is every single one of you an idiot?" And we're just like, "Yes." <laughs> so yes, rowing is very hard. Who knew? Especially with six people. <laughs> we, we, all right, all right, real quick, but. Uh, what do you think of Andy throwing John Lovett under the bus? <laughs> so Andy has, his, Andy has his episode on the beach. I think it's an anxiety attack. That's where I'm at with this. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think he has an anxiety attack. Um, but I also think that he just was like, almost like it was, but it wasn't. Like he was just like exhausted, overwhelmed, uh, and almost just like giving up, like I've been defeated. I'm going home. All my insecurities are. are uh, Do you think down. that was a mental thing? It, is that where we're getting the, the the creepy American Psycho music? Because he's going to reveal later that that was a that was a 
that was a ploy? No, he's not Johnny Fairplay. Don't give him that credit. No, he's he's. There's no ploy. Going I mean, on we with saw. Him. Whoa, 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 let's go back in time. We saw calculations to start this thing. That 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 I could like. He he gave out integers that I don't even know what they mean. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so don't say he's no Johnny Fairplay. I mean, like Johnny Fairplay doesn't know integers like that. He he said like C power twelve or something. I don't even. I know don't what think it he could lie like that and keep his face and body to match the story. No, definitely not. I why why was the music the way it was? I, I, the music was purposely chosen. It wasn't. It wasn't. We should feel sorry for this guy. Music. The music was American Psycho music. Yeah, it it was. If I'm watching the show and that's my edit, I'm bummed. Like I'm like, oh god. Well, not not if you purposely did it. It's going to be revealed next episode that this like like because we saw in the preview for is like you know uh, Andy drops a bomb and he was just like, yeah, I faked all that. Wow. I don't think that's going to happen, Johnny. I think Andy's going home soon, is, is my fan. Well, he might go home soon with, with the reveal episode two of he faked all that. Yeah, right, right. I mean, it'd be brilliant I don't, if he I don't, think, him, I, don't I don't think with the edit we're supposed to feel sorry for this kid. Yeah, I don't feel sorry. I just want him to leave. I, I, I think Survivor's... <laughs> well, I, but, but you wanted Ben to leave, but you love Ben. <laughs> I do love Ben. I do love Ben. <laughs> But you wouldn't have been to leave. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, there's been time. I mean, I, 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 you know, I, we interviewed Gabler and, and I love Gabler. And, but when he won, I said, I'm never watching the show again. And okay. here, well, but I don't think Gabler was ever in a position that we saw, uh, no. you know, a, a Ben or an Andy. So I, I, I think we're going to get an Andy reveal that, that this was all bullshit. There's, I, as I said, just, just that music just doesn't make sense. I mean, we we've seen the Brandon music, we've seen the Banu music. It's that's we we literally got this guy's a fucking shit bag music. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I mean, like, did did they just run out of music when it came to Andy? They're just like, oh yeah, just give him the shit bag music. It's fine. We're, we're t <laughs> we'll fix it next episode. <laughs> yeah, they're they're painting a picture of Andy, and we saw it throughout this entire episode. And uh, I feel like he's not going to last long. I feel Yellow Tribe is going to go back to the the Gata Tribe. Um, is, do, you, is, do you think Propes was pissed? That he played on his heartstrings, and 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 they're returning the favor with the edit. Maybe because honestly, if I because Pro, like, Pro, 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 Pro was just you know he was just like you know whoa hey you know he jumped down there he was all in it was a whole thing and then he was just like hi he was just like whoa, whoa, whoa save that ship for tribal brother yeah I know <laughs> I know I, I just where, think where that, are you at on this? Well, I mean. What's that? I mean, where am I at on what? On on Andy, do you think that was fake? And that's why I mean, we, I I, do. Do I you feel like know. the music was odd no. for the edit? Of I didn't Andy? notice the music one bit. Okay, I do. I, I yeah, pay attention to that. I, so the music was literally like American fucking Psycho. Yeah. It was. It was not. A, it was not friendly music. Whenever he thought. I just want to play the game. Well, uh, um, the latest. And then I like uh, stop seeing straight. <laughs> What even that? And I just want to, you know, be in the game. Yeah. So no, but when when he gets back to the tribe, it's 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 even it's a little creepier. Yeah, it's creepy. So you know, obviously, um, we know that Yellow Tribe is going to be going to Tribal Castle, and it's a battle yeah. between John Lovett and Andy. And well, I do it's not mostly it's not. Supposedly the girls say, hey, we're just going to throw out your name so, you know, so Andy doesn't go extra crazy. Yeah. And, and, then, and then they start talking. So I'm guessing that, that John Lovett's spidey sense went off and he's just like, oh, shit, it's really between me and Andy. And, and they just said that so I don't get creeped out when I hear my name being, being thrown I'll, about. I'll, I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, his... His pitch to get rid of was it Annika. Is that her name? Yeah, not the best. No, I, I, I don't, the pitch wasn't the best, but it's the right move. But no, that's not. 
the right move to Sam is who do you want to oh, go? That's true. Yeah, and then that's he looks the right at you move. and says, um, you, because I don't think for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <you. laughs> well, I mean, at least you know it, and then you, mean, then, then, you, then you go to two more yeah. people and try to do yeah. something. Yeah, so, but that's the thing. Uh, but like, There's only so, two, so if you, two if you more go to people. Sam, if you, if you go to Sam and ask him for a person and he doesn't have a person, that means Sam's going to write, is writing your name down. Mm-hmm. But if you go to Sam and say, how about Annika? And he's like, sure. Sure is not the answer you're looking for. No. And I will say this. Uh, This is the battle of who to vote out versus we need tribe strength, tribe strength. They all think Andy is stronger to win challenges and that John is not. And the girls are saying, we're going to tell Andy it's going to be you, John, which if I'm John Lovett, I would not be cool with that. I'd be like, hell no. Okay. That's not Mul- multiple things. I-, I actually like really had a problem with this. Andy passed out in the challenge from whatever reason. If he had been active in the challenge, he would have been worthless in the challenge. It just so-, so happens that he wasn't involved. John Lovett isn't not isn't weak. He's not the strongest guy out there, but I know he works out you know he's trained for this he loves survivor he would have you know prepared himself for survivor yeah. and if we're being really honest if you're all about team strength sounds like one of the women are going home mm-hmm. yeah i mean if, I, I mean I if all of them are saying we need, we need team strength we need team strength it's like all right annika see ya because you, you don't know yeah. how to do anything you I, just know how to tell people what to do and that's going to get real annoying Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I think John Lovett made a huge strategic era error. Sorry, I, I think John Lovett made a huge strategic error in uh, attaching his train to the Andy. Bus. Yeah, he should have othered Andy. He should have gone on with the young kids, like like Steve Buscemi meme, with like how do young kids like. Oh, look at that yeah. weirdo over there. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, we all make fun they, of this they were, weirdo. They were talking about vines. Like, who talks about vines? Do you, like, I, I would, I, like, I, I had a blue check on vine and, like, and I forgot vines. Who's yeah. talking about vines? I think about vine yeah. every single week. I loved vine. Really? <laughs> I think about it. I you remember like how awesome it was. Yeah, I loved it. I, who are they? What, seven second video? I, I got a video with Killer Mike. He called me the Ronald Reagan of reality TV. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Still, I have no From clue. him, that's an yeah. insult, probably. I don't think, I, I think he meant it as a compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I don't think Killer it's, Mike compliments white people I, that often. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we had a very good conversation. Uh, I, I'm sure you did. He's a very smart person. Yeah, right. He knows a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. go, going into the first tribal council, everyone's you know walking into tribal. They're obviously impressed by the grandiose. Set did, did you like the, the broken Buddha gimmick? A, I mean, again, a badass looking set. Yeah. A, a little. I loved it. I thought it looked sweet, but it's like you know, it's for television. So, but it's like. <laughs> hey, you're not fooling anybody. So, it's it's kind of like wrestling. It's kind of like, all, all right, you know, it's not. We know. Did did you did you watch UFC at the Sphere? No. Did you see the highlights? No. Okay, well, UFC is awesome, right? Well, the Sphere is fucking awesome, right. right? So UFC at the Sphere was the awesomest thing ever. Does UFC need the Sphere? No. That's tribal council. Do we need the broken no. Buddha? No, but it makes it makes it's tribal cool. council it better. Cool. I love exactly. it. Exactly. I I love yeah. it. I, I I thought it was really cool. I love it. Uh, and, and and for the record, UFC UFC from the sphere will happen in my life. Like I, it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like I was up till three a.m. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I wanted yeah. to get it. No, the set, the set yeah. was awesome. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's always awesome and impressive. Look, Sierra. Well, sometimes they're more impressive than others. This is this is this is one of the the top. Like I lo- I love the 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 Buddha sliced in half. Uh-huh. Yes. So we see we hear from Sierra. Sierra is the pretty girl. 
I think she's got uh, more than just beauty to her. I think she's could be a killer player. Uh, she calls out Annika as the leader that kind of jumped in, which Annika yeah. kind of was taken back by that. Like, I, you don't want to be called the leader, dude. At least I wouldn't. I want to be like likable and and get along with people socially, but I don't want to be the top dog. I don't want to be killing it in the challenges as the biggest guy. But uh, yeah, uh, but you know, um, John Lovett says here there was a delayed start to strategic gameplay. And, and, and Annika, Annika's eyes could not roll back any further. <laughs> yeah. But but I think John Lovett, like I said, he, I have here in my notes, he reminds me of Ricard. And I was like, uh, uh, well, I like John it, Lovett. I'm sick and tired of hearing about Andy's past insecurities. If you don't, if you don't play Survivor, if you're insecure, it's freaking day three, dude. Like, just don't, don't apply. So I was like, praying for this guy to go home and he doesn't go yeah, home. okay so what if it's revealed next week that this was all an act he's too young and immature there's no way okay well let's just say well, let's just say uh, dude i was 30 when when i did mine uh if okay let's it was, just say it's revealed do you do you love him or or, or do you just allow it i i would i would probably change my tone slightly about Andy if, if it was revealed that it was it changed it a lot. Yes. Uh, okay. But, Wayne, where are you at? If, it, if it's revealed, that was all bullshit. I, I still don't know that I would believe it. It's, it's really hard to fake that. It's, it's, yeah. it's very hard to overheat anxiety, have those symptoms, and have it be faked. It's pretty... I mean, they got medical involved, and you know, I don't. And plus, I, honestly, dude, I I don't think. I, yes, you do the dead grandma lie, and there's been some like. I don't. I don't think it's that difficult to to do what he did. But I he literally like, just lay down. Yeah, I I feel that that would be kind of like. He laid down, and you would think he wouldn't be able to talk, and and he's literally going into his tribal council spiel. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I, 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 think, was, I think it was an act, and I think I think. Do I love Andy? No. <laughs> I've literally talked myself no. into loving Andy yeah. right now. No, you, you do not love Andy. But uh, it, well, okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna end. Well, we're we're not done yet. But I but I'm in. I can tell you right now when this this pod ends, this broadcast ends. I love Andy until proven otherwise, because I think. We're getting a reveal next week that, that this was all bullshit. Well, I disagree. I, I do not like Andy. I hope he it, 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 not, I, it does not help my case that the bullshit in the middle of the night with, with, uh, with uh, what was her name? Uh, Rachel. Mm -hmm. That does not help our case at mm -hmm. all. Like him having night terrors. Right. Yeah, right. However. Right. <laughs> yeah, but okay. I mean, the, right. at the end of the day. At the end of the yeah. day, John Lovett goes home. Yeah. Andy stays. Uh, and we got scenes for next week of, of one of the girls saying that Andy seems like a like a, a psycho, clingy, like ex-boyfriend kind of guy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I don't think that that's faked. I think that <laughs> he, he's, he's got something going on. I'm very, I'm very ready to jump off Team Andy. For the yes. record, I'm just saying I'm on Team Andy right now until proven on it. Because I think there's something like if this is all bullshit and it's working towards <laughs> this this incredible master plan. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. It, I, I don't think I yeah, agree I mean, with you that it is, but I don't think that's it at all. I don't. I, I, I feel. I, I did not think that going into this episode. Like I literally hated Andy. So maybe, uh, maybe I'm being overly optimistic as, mm -hmm. as the as the night mm -hmm. wears on. Yeah, but overall, for me, uh, I was entertained. I was out here on the patio. Um, I, I enjoyed the episode, and I'm excited to be beginning another journey of, of Survivor. Forty several. Uh, we'll be podcasting each and every week. Um, if Johnny is at a viewing party, it'll be Wayne and I, and maybe we'll have a special guest. Sure. Uh, and then if you like what we're doing, there's going to be other Survivor coverage, right, Johnny? Explain to the listeners. Oh, yeah. What... 
Sure. Uh, well, if you'd like to watch this episode and every episode moving forward commercial free, head over to realitypatron.com. That's reality, P A T R O N.com. You can watch all episodes commercial free if you don't like, you know, watching on YouTube and you have the commercials or, or listening wherever you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or uh, Amazon Music, wherever. Uh, on patreon.com, they're available commercial free. So you can, you can check that out there. Uh, also at Patreon, you get autographed pics of some of your favorite survivors. We update those all the time. You can get uh, uh, Johnny Fairplay t shirts, all, all, all the crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, other coverage, uh, we have uh, Wendell doing a, uh, a, a, a bonus survivor podcast. Uh, Patrick Hines from True Crime Obsessed. Uh, he was going to join us for multiple episodes this season talking about the exploits of John Lovett. So apparently I will have uh, Patrick Hines on for one episode. Check that out, SurvivorObsessed.com. That's SurvivorObsessed.com. It, it, it all takes you to YouTube.com uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, slash after show. Don't worry, folks. But, uh, but yeah, uh, and uh, we, we have more. We, we, have, we have lots more people talking about uh, Survivor. Some I can't even say yet. Contracts are being signed as we speak. But yeah, just uh, YouTube.com slash after show. Click that subscribe button. Give a like button. Leave a comment. All that helps the algorithm. And uh, this has been really cool to do our first 4K podcast and more to come. Uh, there, there's so much going on with the Reality After Show Network. Uh, we got, we got uh, Pauly Calafiore and, and Dan and Alex uh, doing the, uh, the Challenge podcast. We have a new Circle podcast dropping tomorrow. The, uh, the Anonymous podcast with, uh, uh, with Lauren and Adrian is, is, is my favorite podcast every, each and every week right now. I'm loving it. The Reality Queens with Jen Hoffman, Bobby Goodsby, and uh, Rachel Riley talking Big Brother and, and reality TV and casting and all the fun stuff. And I, I think we have 20 more podcasts we're launching in the next two weeks, folks. So click that subscribe button. You do not want to miss out on each and, and, and all this stuff. Uh, join me and Pauly in Boston, October 30th. Go to, uh, go to ChallengeTix.com. Uh, go to SurvivorTix.com, click that notify button or subscribe or follow or whatever it is to find out the uh, the next Survivor viewing party. And uh, as I said before, realitypatron.com. Oh, cameo.com slash Johnny Fairplay. Holy shit. I'm, I'm one of the, the, the number one survivors out. I'm not number one, but I'm up there. I, so uh, I do really fun podcasts. I think you guys enjoyed it. I start with Jeff Probst over there. I end with the tombstone and, and, and the survivor banner. We got, we got a lot of cool props behind us. I have a lot of fun with those cameos. So cameo.com slash Johnny fair play. And uh, Wayne Mehmet, where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me at Wayne Mehmet uh, on Instagram. Like my reels, send them. If you're in Cincinnati or surrounding areas, I got shows coming up. Uh, if you're listening to this as it comes out, you can catch me at high grain brewing tonight. Uh, I'll be at the Comet all weekend, and then I got a baby due in two weeks, so you probably won't catch too much of me for a while after that. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you'll, you'll catch me be, uh... here on the podcast, but like here. in comedy, you won't you won't catch me out doing a lot of comedy for a bit. Hey, catch you outside. How about nope. that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. there you go. We, we love you all, and and season forty seven, I think is going to be a doozy. And uh, for those listening, this is for entertainment purposes, right? We, we give our opinions. We, sometimes we're passionate. Sometimes we talk uh, smack. But we love you all, and we will see you all next week on another Season 47 After Show here on the Rowdy After Show Network. Cheers, everybody, yeah. and good night.